Okay, so here's your Maytag Performa. Is it a Performa? Yeah, Performa. And it's not heating. So first thing I normally do is I check a couple of things. The vent looks good. I'll just check the power to see if it's getting power. It may run with one leg of the 220 and they got this kind of wired up kind of funny uh, looking wire here. But it will run with one leg of the 220. And so typically your dryer uh, socket is going to look something like this one here. It's like a double breaker. Uh, and you can check these to see if they're loose. If they're loose at all, then they're probably shot. Basically you want to, if you have a question in your mind, there should be 220 coming out of this. If you take this panel off and you don't have 220 coming out of that, it's shot. And to reset these, you, of course, push them all the way back and then all the way forward again. Um, if they're sloppy at all, it's likely that the socket or the uh, breaker has gone bad. But this one has one leg, uh, definitely, because it will turn on. That may not be the problem. Um, it turns on fine. And then we have the vent out here. And the seat's flowing pretty good. So what we're going to do is, there's probably going to be a bad uh, thermal fuse on the heater, there's a thermal cutout fuse on the heater. That thermal cutout fuse goes bad typically, and we have a clean lint filter, and we can look down here and see if there's, there's a little bit of lint, yes there's some lint, lint built up down there, we don't have any here don't have any up there and so it's going to be the thermal cutout fuse on the heater the heater is right back there and so basically there's two uh, little key, uh, how would you say uh, little clips here we push these two clips and then the front will hinge back and then we can open it up and look at that heater of course we want to unplug it first before you mess with the heater always unplug your appliances before you mess with them okay so this just comes right up there's these little clips here just take a flathead and push it in and here there's a disclaimer for you don't try this at home this inform this video is for informational purposes only and we can actually look down here and look and see if we have any toasted wires if we don't see any toasted wires there the unit is unplugged so the unit is unplugged and here is the high limit thermostat here's your heat element and right down there with the little white wires down below that's the thermal cutoff right there and typically that thing will go bad and so there's my cheap harbor freight meter and if i set it on continuity easy enough and we're looking for continuity we're looking for continuity on the heat element between these two we're looking for continuity here and here between these and continuity on that high limit thermostat way back down there with the white wires on it and so and i'm going to test that and see what's up 